Going the distance with local sports. This is the X Sports Network. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop Services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Care keeps your home or business comfortable. For more than 20 years, we've provided outstanding residential and commercial services through Southern Middle Tennessee. Whether you need assistance with your heat, air conditioning, preventive maintenance, or anything in between, trust our reliable team to get the job done. We'll take the time to figure out your specific needs and recommend what we believe is right and best for your situation. We've been using Arctic Air for over 15 years now. Their service is great. They're here when we need them, and their prices are competitive. They take the worry out of the heat and air so I don't have to. Arctic Air. When you need us, we'll be there. Financial advisor Scott Beasley knows time spent with family is everything. As a founder of Beasley Wealth Management, his mission is to give clients the freedom to enjoy time with family without the burden of financial concerns. A local of Lawrenceburg, Scott deeply values building relationships with clients, ensuring they make informed decisions concerning asset management, tax planning, and retirement planning. Offering a free initial consultation, Beasley Wealth Management helps clients pursue their aspirations with confidence. Do you have a small farm, a big farm, or just critters in the backyard to feed? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then you need to make the short drive down to a and Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee today. Owner and operator Jamie Ayers has you covered and will treat you right. That's a and Feeds in Etheridge, Tennessee. Got it. 
Got a dent, a ding, a scratch, or a bent fender? Major or minor, Car Country Collision Center in Leoma can fix you up. Car Country works with all insurance carriers, gives free estimates, can work on foreign and domestic vehicles, and has experience you can trust. They've been in business since 1990. Unfortunately, accidents happen, but you can get your car back on the road with as little hassle as possible with the help of Car Country. Call 931-852-4708 or stop by at 2567 Highway 43 South in Leoma. I'm Mike Keith, and my friends at Elliott Johnson Insurance have a great partner in Auto Owners Insurance. Auto Owners makes it easy to get life, home, car, or business insurance. Let Elliott Johnson Insurance find the auto owner's policy that makes a difference in your life. Call Elliott Johnson Insurance at one of their three locations, Florence, Loretta, and Lawrenceburg. Elliott Johnson Insurance, moving forward for our clients every day. Employee Resources Credit Union is an easy solution to banking, offering a personal, simple, yet modern way to bank. When you bank with ERCU, you are a shareholder, meaning you own a piece of the pie. And we make it easy with the convenience of digital banking, with service you won't find at another financial institution, including low to zero fees and incredible rates. We have the technology you need with the personal service you deserve, right here in your own neighborhood. Employee Resources Credit Union, not for profit, for service. For decades, First Class Charter has provided high quality motor coach transportation services to the Tennessee Valley. With numerous safety and cleanliness accreditations, First Class Charter is ready to make your group trip a reality. Contact us today by visiting firstclasscharter.net. First Class Charter, the official motor coach company of the North Alabama Lions. Flooring sets the tone throughout your home. For flooring that makes the right first impression, start by choosing us, Floored by Justin. A one-stop flooring destination. Our new location stands alone for unequaled customer service and selection. Owner Justin Story's mastery of custom hardwood inlays means every room can have a custom look. Discover how the right choice of hardwood, laminate, carpet, or tile can set the tone in your home. Contact Floored by Justin today. Hey, this is Phil Hooper. Get the look you want for your favorite school, church, or business with apparel from HD Ink Screen Printing in Leoma, Tennessee. Got a logo you need embroidered or screen printed? Let HD Ink give you the professional look that sets the bar in today's world. We do fundraisers and custom designed apparel and so much more. Call today, 931-201-2961 or come see us at our new shop located at 26 Ingram Road in Leoma. Remember, HD Ink for the look you want and if the look you deserve. If you're you're in luck. Call Tower McDowell with in-service towing 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for quick, reliable service. When you find yourself in a bind, in-service offers full service towing and recovery services as well as vehicle lockouts, jump starts, and emergency roadside assistance. Family owned, family operated. When you need a hand, call in-service towing or ask for them by name. Serving Southern Tennessee and North Alabama. Phone number 931-843-9098 or visit in service specialty. Jack Davis Insurance, located at 201 West Gaines Street in Lawrenceburg, has you covered through life's obstacles. Facing those challenges is easier together. That's why Jack Davis specializes in group insurance. Cover the most valuable aspect of your business, your employees, with coverage for life. Accident, cancer, critical illness, short-term disability, dental, and vision. Jack Davis can customize to meet every need. Serving Lawrence and surrounding counties since 1987. Contact Jack Davis Insurance today at 931-242-5225. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is your premier source for hardwood, laminate, luxury vinyl tile, sheet vinyl, residential and commercial carpet, carpet tiles, ceramic and porcelain tile, waterproof floating floor, plus blinds and shutters. Lawrenceburg Flooring & More is also home to all name brands and can tackle projects big and small. Installation? You're covered with installers who've got years of experience and stand behind their work. Let Lawrenceburg Flooring & More make your design dreams a reality. 
2760 Highway 43 North or visit lawrenceburgflooringandmore.com. Are you looking for the perfect refrigerator? What about a new stove or washer or dryer? It only makes sense to shop at the one place that specializes in appliances, top to bottom, big or small. And that's Kelly Appliance in Lawrenceburg. Kelly Appliance is home to all major name brands, including LG. LG makes life good with a full selection of refrigerators, cooking appliances, dishwashers, microwaves, and more, including appliances made right here in Tennessee. Family owned and family operated. Stop by Kelly Appliance on Jerry Street in Lawrenceburg today. Like you, our roots are in Lawrence County, providing banking for every stage of life since 1934. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank has been not just your bank, but also your friend, helping you with home loans, consumer and auto loans, and your everyday personal banking needs. Lawrenceburg Federal offers you a warm smile and personal experience, as well as the conveniences of modern-day online banking, mobile banking, and telebanking. Lawrenceburg Federal Bank, your neighbor and friend, located at 118 West Gaines Street, next to the courthouse. Are you looking for a non-factory job environment? Livingstone Freight Solutions is a 3PO company that began managing warehouses in Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. With our multiple shifts and experienced management team, our goal is to give you, as an employee, a safe family work environment and competitive wages. We offer a wide variety of employment opportunities from forklift drivers to management level positions. We also strive to offer a competitive benefit package and PTO options. For more information or to apply, visit us at Livingstone stonefs.com or give us a call at 931-269-3255. Oliver Wellness and Massage, located in Pulaski, Tennessee, is your premier spa for massage therapy, salt therapy, IV therapy, tanning, and much more. Stay relaxed, look your best, and feel good at Oliver Wellness, located at 1187 West College Street, Pulaski, Tennessee, or contact Haley at 931-309-0462 or schedule your appointment online at 931massage.com. Whether you're looking to spruce up the interior or exterior of your home or business, trust Lawrenceburg Glass to provide a one-of-a-kind product. From windows to mirrors, shower doors, custom framing, storefront installations, and everything in between, Lawrenceburg Glass takes pride in our quality craftsmanship and strong attention to detail. With us, your customer experience always exceeds expectations. We're reliable, on time, and we deliver stunning results. Lawrenceburg Glass. Our passion is reflected in our work. Head on over to Shaw Southeast Distributing in Lawrenceburg to find everything you need for your home, business, or fundraiser. To make life easier, Shaw Southeast Distributing now accepts EBT cards. Have a concession stand, food truck, or just your kitchen at home? Leave it to Shaw to fill your shelves with ease. Shaw Southeast Distributing delivers. Family owned and operated. Phone 931-762-7760. Follow us on Facebook or visit us at 1603 Ripke Avenue in Lawrenceburg. This is the X Sports Network. Yeah, welcome everybody here to Gary Lamb Field just outside of Loretto High School, getting you ready for a big rivalry showdown, the Highway 43 series between the Mustangs of Loretto and the Wildcats of Lawrence County. AJ Good joined alongside Dusty Kaiser here for tonight's game. Taking a look at quick, quickly at both sides, Lawrence County coming in at four and one overall. Their head coach is Clint Wright and Loretto off to a hot start in this season. They are four and zero overall after a four and zero week. Last week, their head coach is Zach Kurz. Before we get things going here from Gary Lamb Film on a cloudless yet very chilly night, we will pause here for the National Anthem.
was a national anthem getting ready here to kick things off here between these two in county rivals. As we take a look here at both starting lineups, starting first with Lawrence County, leading off at shortstop will be Jack Emerson, batting second in center field, Alex Bedford, batting third in right field, True Kid, batting fourth and pitching, Isaiah Bentley, batting fifth at first base, TJ Gobble, batting sixth at second base, Gavin Glass. Batting seventh at third base, Cole Schultz. Batting eighth and catching, Cutler Cope. And rounding out the lineup and left will be Kaysen Smith. For the Mustangs will be Mason Tibwell. Leading off playing short, batting second and catching, Clint Seymour. Batting third and pitching, Carter Daniel. Batting fourth in left field, Miles Moore. Batting fifth at first base, Connor Pope. Batting sixth in right field, Lucas Laxon. Batting seventh, the designated hitter, Jackson Tragula. Batting third at third base, Batting eighth at third base will be Grant <laughs> Fisher. And bat, rounding out the lineup in center field will be Cason Springer. Dusty, these two got off the great starts last week. Loretto pitting, picking up a sweep of Giles County last weekend, also picking up a big win against Marshall County and the Tennessee Monarchs. Lawrence County went 4-1. and And Orange Beach, Alabama, picking up some wins against some very good programs along the way. You know, that's right, A.J., and I, hey, I expect this game right here tonight to be a showcase of two very good high school programs, and I'm thankful that we got them right here in Lawrence County where we live. Um, not, you know, I'm not taking away from the guys from up north of Summertown yet, but we got this game tonight. But I expect this to be a good one, and I do believe we got a Georgia commit on the mound. He's uh, No, that's uh, Carter Kelly that's over, right, that's over right. at uh, Giles County. He's going it? to uh, Union. 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 Yeah, yeah, he's going to a pretty good program in Union, the NAI, and Carter Daniel as – we remember tore his ACL during football season. Yes. He was the Mustang starting quarterback for about halfway through the season and unfortunately got that ACL, but give him credit. He has battled back here. He's back on the mound, already got a wind under his belt and starting here tonight for Loretto. We know how good Loretto is. It's it's not uh, not a shock that they're 4-0 on no. the year, but Lawrence County after a very tough season a year ago. For them here to be at 4-1 uh, right now is a pretty good feat. They are, you know, and Low has got an older team, I guess you could say, and Lawrence County's a little younger. Jackson Emerson here to lead things off for the Wildcats. It takes a first pitch on the outside corner for strike one. Daniel will throw in about the mid to high 80s. Emerson, a freshman, part of that very good EO Kaufman group a year ago. Next pitch, that one is in there for strike two. So Daniel working quickly and working ahead so far here for the Mustangs. He's got the freshman and Emerson down 0-2. You know, A.J., when Jack gets on base, he's got some jets. Next pitch here from Daniel. That is chopped foul, and the count will stay at no balls and two strikes. A very a chilly night, to say the least. Sure, what are you even, talking about? Even, well, I'm standing in the window with the wind blowing. I got this window blocking me, buddy. It feels good right here where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Johnson's about ready to punch you over there. Here comes the 0-2. That one misses away for ball one. It is a very chilly night. Uh, you know, everyone was like, man, we were in the 70s last week. You know, one of these teams was at the beach, and now we're sitting here in a game that's probably going to dip below, the, get very near the freezing point here at one point. You're exactly right. Next pitch in the dirt, evens up the count at two balls, two strikes. It is a beautiful evening outside of that. The wind is blowing in from left, directly in from left, so wouldn't expect many deep fly balls in tonight's game. I wouldn't either. Here's a 2-2. That one is sent down the right field line and foul, and the count will stay at two balls and two strikes. Emerson here with an early battle for the, for the Wildcats. And the 2-2. And the dirt. Emerson able to check his swing, and pitch number seven. He sends a count full of three balls and two strikes. You know, early in the season, the better you can work these counts because pitchers are... Pitchers are probably not going to be on high pitch counts at this point in the year. I wouldn't think so tonight, especially on a night like tonight. Here's a full count offering on the inside corner for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. Good pitch there from Daniel. One gone here in the top of the first. Bring up the center fielder and Alex Bedford. Bedford batting 333 through the first five games of the season. Reached base several times in that Orange Beach tournament. In a home run here in their game this ballpark a year ago. First pitch here from Daniel. This is away for ball one. Alex come off a very good basketball season and jumped right into baseball. Here's a one up. 
That one is foul back for strike one. Wildcats' leading scorer. He was also their leading hitter last year as well. A lot of talent on this field here tonight. You can pretty much look at every position and, and go, wow, we could see these guys playing potentially at the next level. Yes. Especially when you got one of those guys already committed to the next level on the mound here for Loretta. Two and one the count here to Bedford. Daniel shakes off his catcher and Seymour. Here's a two one. Swung on a miss for strike two. Two and two the count here as Daniel was even things up. Comes a two two count. This is away and another full count worked by a Wildcat hitter. And I believe last last year, you know, we talked about it a bunch. He probably led the state in walks. Team has done a good job getting on base from what we saw down in Orange Beach. Full count offering from Daniel. That one is in there Nasty for strike pitch. three. Good Very pitch. good pitch by Carter Daniel. Back to back strikeouts looking to start things up. Brings up the three old hitter and Truett Kid. Kid batting 266 after five games so far this season. Playing right field here for the Wildcats tonight. Loretto in the black tops, white pants. Lawrence County the purple tops and white pants. First pitch from Daniel. That one misses in for ball one. I thought that hit him for a second. Yeah. I did the way it sounded, the way it looked, but no one reacted to it. The one oh swung on a miss for strike one. Carter Daniel is a very get on the mound and go kid. Here's the one one. Especially on a cold night like tonight, as that pitch misses to make it 2 1. The faster you can work, the faster you can keep your body warm. Yes. There's a 2 1. That one is fouled away, and it's a 2 2 count. <laughs> Cal Johnson on his game already to start things he off. He has got it going on <laughs> over here beside one. us. <laughs> Daniel shakes off Seymour again, and here comes a 2 2. This is in the dirt, and another full count here. Daniel right now at 19 pitches here in the top of the first. You know, that's not a bad pitch when you're no. throwing to a power hitter like that, try to get him to chase something out of the zone. Full count offering. And that one is fouled off of Kidd, and we'll have another full count offering coming again. It's one of the nicest fields here in all of – State of Tennessee, you're not uh, going to find, <laughs> find much better. I don't think you can. It's such a great, we've got a great scene right here. Yeah. People can see it. I don't know how far they can see out past the fence. Another full count offering. That one misses high for ball four. And the Wildcats will get their first base run in the game and the first walk issued by Daniel. Brings up the opposing pitcher and Isaiah Bentley trying to help his own cause here in the top of the first inning. Kid on first, two gone here in the top of the first. Not a big lead by Kidd over at first. First pitch from Daniel. This is just a hair low for ball one. And the one up. Just misses away for ball two. Not going to see a big lead by Truett over no. there at first. 2 0 misses low for ball three. More than likely, Isaiah taking in the situation. I would think so. And look at his front foot is almost out of the box there. And no, he went for it in that strike one. That's pitch number 25. Yeah. You are right. Hey, I've done something right. And Lawrence County education is paying off. It right. is. Mama taught me well. Comes a 3-1 here from Daniel. Now checks over a kid at first. Connor Pope, who you'll see catching a lot here for Loretto mm -hmm. at first base, getting changing up positions. Clint Seymour, one of their better pitchers and guy that you're going to see playing at the next level as well behind the dish. And... Bentley will foul that one away. So Daniel comes back to even up the count at three balls and two strikes. And the 
and the full count offer. This is a ground ball to short and the throw over to first. Good play by Pope over at first to make put his foot on the bag, and that one will end the inning. Wildcats strand one in the top of the first as we go to the bottom half of the inning. Mustangs do up. That's coming up next on the Exports Network. Being raised in Tennessee, we believe in the importance of family and community. Creating a positive experience in our family-owned and operated business is one of the ways we share that belief. Being in an accident can be extremely stressful. When it came time for my repairs, Mashburn's made it easy. I am lucky to have a wonderful company in my community like Mashburn's Collision Center. It's reassuring to know that I'm in good hands because their work is second to none. We pride ourselves that the Mashburn name is one of the most trusted in Lawrence County since 1981. Mashburn's Collision Center. Let our family take care of yours. Old School Rentals in Loretto, Tennessee is headquarters for all your rental equipment needs. Need a trailer? How about saws, tools, loaders, or generators? You can find all of that and much, much more at Old School Rentals. Owner Ryan Smith, located on North Main Street in Loretto, Tennessee. Got primary care? Find your way to better health with primary care by One Stop Medical. With decades of combined experience, you'll find a one-on-one -on -one relationship just like the old days, but with the convenience and technology of today. When One Stop Medical does primary care, it's the best. Call today for an appointment and find your way to healthy living. Serving Lawrenceburg, Pulaski, and Hohenwald. Phone 931-244-8220. Primary Care by One Stop Medical at its best. From our humble beginnings to today, Parks Lumber Company has continuously served Lawrence and surrounding counties for over a century. Although we started as a small lumber yard in 1896, we have grown to include everything you need to make your dream project come to life. No matter your building needs, our experienced staff will be with you every step of the way to ensure you receive the highest customer service and attention to detail you deserve. Visit us at 106 Second Street or on Facebook. We guarantee you will see working with PLC is as easy as one, two, three. This is the X Sports Network. To the bottom of the first here, Mason Tibwell leading things off here for the Mustangs. Fouls the first pitch from Isaiah Bentley back for strike one. Bentley, who got a win down in Orange Beach for Lawrence County, facing off with Tibwell, and Tibwell's off to a hot start for the Mustangs, hitting 416 through the first four games for Loretta. There's the 0-1 from Bentley. Hit high in the air. As the left fielder and Smith calls everybody off, makes the catch, and that will be the first out of the inning. One gone here for the Mustangs in the bottom of the first. Bring up the catcher in Clint Seymour. Seymour off to a good start as well. He's hitting 555 on the year, Dusty, and his uh, on-base percentage is somewhere around the 700s. So he's uh, just he's getting the job done. It's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I mean, just getting on base, doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah, that, that, just, a, just a heck of a baseball player. A guy that his fastball can be anywhere from the low to mid-90s as he files that one away for strike one, and he's got a nasty slider on top of that. He does. Well. I think he got some wicked movement. Yeah. And and he also catches. So if he's got a cannon like that, I don't think you're going to try, yeah. <laughs> try much on him. Yeah, I'd say his pop time's pretty good. Here's the 0-1. Breaking ball. That one misses Man. for ball one. That was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a couple of pitches from Daniel in the first inning. And, you know, but off. The guy, the guy in blue has got a much better view than we do. Oh, for sure. Comes a 1-1. One, one. This is a way for ball two. We love this setup here at Loretta. And the press box area, field in general. It's a great place for fans to come out when it's not uh, in the mid-30s. In a 20-mile-an-hour win. Yeah. That pitch misses in. Hitters count here to see more. Three balls and one strike. One gone here on the bottom of the first. Wildcats stranded one top half of the inning. Comes a 3-1. And that one misses low for ball four, and the Mustangs have their first base runner of the game. Brings up the opposing pitcher in Carter Daniel. Daniel 
Off to a good pitching start, hitting wise, struggling a bit as we're going to have a courtesy runner come into the game. And that will be Braden Bennett for the Mustangs. Daniel hitting 166 so far, but again, he's only hit in three games this year. There's plenty of time to rise that average here. But oh, for sure. He's gotten off to a good pitching start. He already got a wind under his belt and off to a good start here in this one. Huge lead by Bennett at first. Benley, as this one is skied in the air, but it's going to go out of play for strike one. Ain't no me and you were playing, AJ. We didn't get these ski masks like these guys got out here now. You know, I never wore sleeves. I didn't. I didn't wear much. You know, pitching. I did wear a little three quarter, but yeah. I didn't wear anything all the way down to my wrist. Yeah. I, I, sometimes I would wear it over my jersey in the uh, dugout, but I never wore it in the game. As Daniel fouls another one away to make it 0-2. I was also about hmm, 40. 30 pounds heavier back then. A little bit more insulation. That was about 70 pounds lighter. <laughs> Benley checks on Bennett again. Throw not in time. Yeah, they, we didn't have those ski masks. If any time you ever saw someone wearing one of those masks, you thought something bad was about to happen. Yeah. I mean, those. <laughs> now everyone wears it. Here's the 0-2. In the dirt. Get blocked there by Cutler Coke. The count will go to one ball and two strikes. Wind are really whipping straight in from left. It is. As you can hear from our microphones, here's a one-two. That's a ground ball. Second baseman scoops it up, throws over to TJ Gobble at first in time. Bennett will move over to second base. And we got one on. Runner on second. And two gone here in the bottom of the second. Now we'll bring up Miles Moore here for the Mustangs. Moore off to a pretty good start here for the Mustangs this season. Hitting 416. And he's got the, getting the nod in the cleanup spot here tonight for Loretta. Finley comes set. That's a huge lead by Bennett over there at second. First pitch, breaking ball in the dirt for ball one. Good stop by Cutler. And Cutler was certainly busy in that tournament down in Orange well, Beach. He was, wasn't he? <laughs> a little bit more busy than <laughs> I think he anticipated. Here's a 1-0. Moore taps on one in front of the plate. Bentley's going to field. Throw over to Gobble at first. Will be in time, and that one will end the inning. Each side strands a runner in the first inning. We go to the top of the second. No score between Loretto and Lawrence County here on the Exports Network. Hey, guys. I'm Kyle Hammock, general manager here at Heritage Automotive, your Chevy, GMC dealer in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I am from Marshall County, Tennessee, where I went to Cornersville High School. Uh, I attended Cumberland University. Um, after Cumberland, I went into the United States Marine Corps to serve the country. After that, I went right back into the car business. I'm very familiar with the car business. I have been around the car business pretty much my entire life. And my commitment to you is to ensure the most competitive new and used vehicle prices on the market, as well as the best service around. Well, we'll treat you like family here at Heritage Automotive in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Do you ever worry about having too much in the garage? What about where you're going to put the mower or your ATV or better yet, your mother-in-law? Look no further than Quality Storage Buildings located right next door to Flat Rock Cheese and More on the Minor Hill Highway in Pulaski, Tennessee. There you'll find the answer to your need in a compact or spacious metal building. Built by hand right at Flat Rock by some of the finest craftsmen around, there's a perfect building for everyone, including economy, utility, cabin, lofted or garage models, and even an animal shelter line. Buy or rent to own, see the different models at Flat Rock or on North Main Street in Ardmore and on Highway 43 South in Dunn. Call today, 931-363-3603 or 931-201-2205. This is the X Sports Network. 
And back here at Loretto's, we go to the top of the second inning. No score here in the Highway 43 series between Lawrence County and Loretto. 5-6-7 do it for the Wildcats. T.J. Gobble will lead things off. Carter Daniel had a pair of strikeouts, a couple walks, and his, or just one walk, I should say, is his first pitch is a swing and a miss for strike one. Daniel in that first inning through 29 pitches, walked one, struck out two, and left one on base. 0-1 here to Gobble. Next pitch from Daniel. That one is in there. Good fastball for strike two. Good pitch. TJ batting 266 through five games so far. First action back on the diamond in a long time, and that is a swing and a miss for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. A three-pitch strikeout is third of the game, and that will bring up the six-hole hitter and Gavin Glass, the second baseman. Glass, who has seen a handful of a bat so far for Lawrence County this year, and this is his first start of the season. First pitch from Daniel. That one is in there for strike one. His pace is, Man. you don't even have to put a clock on this guy. Next pitch, foul back for strike two. Kyle's a pitch off over here. Kyle, Kyle, 0-2, oh 0-2. Two. Oh two. Yeah. That one misses high for ball one. See, we're trying to, we're, we're, we'd love to help everybody. Yeah, we're, we're just a helping organization. Yeah. Here's a one-two. On the outside corner, a breaking ball for strike three and back-to-back -back strikeouts here to start the inning and four already for Carter Daniel. Brings up the third baseman for Cole Schultz. Schultz struggling a bit here to start the year. Three for 16, batting 187, trying to break out of a slump here a bit to start the year against one of his local rivals. First pitch here from Daniel. On the outside corner for strike one. He is just pelting the strike zone. He is just second. right down. I mean, he's just all over at corner. Next pitch, fouled back and caught for strike two. Oh, he's at a groove now. And the 0-2. On the out. Ooh, I thought that was going to be strike three, and that one just missed by maybe half a ball length for ball one. That was close. Very close. Here's the one, two. Swung on a miss for strike three. Three strikeouts for Carter Daniel here in the top of the second. We will go to the bottom of the second. No score between the Mustangs and the Wildcats here on the Exports Network. The Raptor Series from Hustler Turf. A premium line of residential mowers. Designed with a wide stance for operator comfort. A one-piece 11-gauge steel frame and welded steel deck for added durability. Finished off with premium Kawasaki V-Twin power. We are Hustler Turf. And this is Hustler Country. There are now more ways to save at Quick Mart. Become a Quick Club member and easily earn rewards on qualifying purchases at Quick Mart convenience stores using the Quick Club app. Available on the Apple App Store and Google Play. To save on fuel for work, use the Fuel Rewards Pro app to earn five cents a gallon on work fill-ups and redeem the savings for yourself. To get started, visit fuelrewards.com slash pro or download the app in the Apple App Store and Google Play. Don't just find a job, find a career with Resource MFG. The team at Resource MFG in Lawrenceburg has the resources and experience to find you a full or part-time position right away. Now recruiting for open positions in Lawrence, Giles, and Murray counties. Whether you're entering the workforce for the first time or looking to take your career to the next level, let your journey begin with Resource MFG. Located at 300 Ellingson Street in Lawrenceburg, phone 931-570-2111 to jumpstart your career. This is the X Sports Network. And back here at Gary Lamb Field as we go to the bottom of the second. No score here between Lawrence County and Loretto. Do up for the Mustangs will be 5-6-7. Connor Pope leading things off. Isaiah Bentley had a walk 
in the first inning. No runs and no hits through 13 pitches. And his first pitch here to Pope is a breaking ball in the dirt for ball one. Carter Daniel up to five strikeouts now after striking out the side there in the top of the second. Next pitch misses high here for ball two. Bentley trying to match Carter Daniel's pace here. Taking no time here to throw the next pitch. That one is swung on a miss for strike one. You know, that's the thing about these pitchers, they get in their rhythm, you know, and you got to hold it there. Here's the 2-1. That one is swung on a miss for strike two. The pitch. Bentley's going to be figured into the Lawrence County rotation a lot here this season. Mm. Didn't pitch much last year for the Wildcats, but this came on strong here in the offseason. The 2-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the first out in the inning. First strikeout of the game for Isaiah Bentley. We'll bring up the right fielder in Lucas Laxon. He's off to a great start, hitting 384 here for the Mustangs through the first four games. Facing Bentley here for the first time. First pitch here from Bentley. That one is foul back for strike one. Cold weather games, we've all played in them, are no fun for anybody. No, they're not. It's just, it can really be miserable. Yeah. Here's the 0-1. Swung on a miss for strike two. I played in below freezing temperatures. I played in games in the snow. <laughs> it's not fun. Here's the 0-2. That miss is high and in for ball one. And it never failed. When it got cold like this, I was getting hit. <laughs> Here's a 1-2. Oh, speaking of, a breaking ball went behind Laxon. Good job there by Laxon to kind of, uh, I don't know how you snake his body yeah. <laughs> inside to not get hit. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. That one is sent into right field. And true a kid there in right. Camps underneath it, makes the catch, and that will be the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the second. Now bring up the designated hitter in Jackson Tragula. Draglia hitting 285 through the first four games here for Loretta. Another left-hander. One thing that this Loretta lineup poses, Dusty, a lot of left-handed hitters, and that could be a big-time problem for some pitchers, especially on the right side, is that first pitch misses low and in for ball one. You, fa you faced it more than I did. I never pitched. <laughs> Here's the 1-0, swung on a miss for strike one. Comes a 1-1. That one is in there for strike two. Hey, these pitchers are hitting their spots. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, this butter's just got to swing. Comes a 1-2. And that one is fouled down the right field line, and the count will stay at one ball and two strikes. I mean, that ball is moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that looks like one of them old timing what we called old Ephus pitch. You know, you didn't really know what it was. Here's a 1-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Three up, three down for both sides in the second inning as we go to the top of the third. No score between Loretto and Lawrence County here on the X Sports Network. If there ever was such a thing as a company that could do almost anything, well, Tenneke Properties is it. These guys know how to completely transform your existing home into something new or just do it room by room. Need a new bathroom or kitchen? What about a fresh coat of paint? Even a new floor? Looking for dirt work? Tenneke has you covered. Oh, and you can even rent a dumpster from them too. That's Tenneke Properties. Visit Tenneke.com or phone 931-244-4602. At Smith Tax and Business Service, we offer many services. Along with personal income tax prep, we also offer tax preparation for corporations and partnerships. If you're a small business and looking for some extra help, give us a shout and we'll get you fixed up. Call Mary Beth Smith, Marion Matthews, Brooklyn Bates, or Michelle Staggs to find out how we can help you. Located at 208 Pulaski Street, phone 931-244-6633. Are you tired of missing out on family life just to be treated like another truck number? Since 1986, Southeast Cares has been a family-operated business based in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. 
Being family owned ourselves, we understand the importance of family, which is why we value it above all else. With our large number of dedicated lanes and our friendly staff, we are able to evenly divide your home time with the amount of time you spend on the road. We offer multiple benefits with large company pay, all while keeping a small company environment. For more information, visit our website at southeastcares.com or check us out on Instagram and Facebook. This is the X Sports Network. Cutler Cope leading things off here in the top of the third inning. Gets a swing and a miss for strike one. Here from Carter Daniel, who is absolutely on a roll. As that next pitch is fouled back for strike two. He's working so fast, we can't even, can't keep, even up keep up. up. With it. Daniel has five strikeouts through two innings so far. After a 19 pitch first inning, really settled in after that 29 pitch first inning, excuse me. And that next pitch misses high and in for ball one. Actually, I don't think I have my math right on that one. It was 28 It'll, the first inning, I thought. 20, 29 the 29. first inning, yeah. So he's and then a, 11. He's a, yeah, he's a 41 right now. One and one the count here. One and two the count here to Cope. Next pitch here from Daniel. Foul back, and the count will stay where it is. A one ball and two strikes. Isaiah Bentley on the other side is doing pretty good as well. Is only give, Each side has only given up one base runner through mm -hmm. two innings, and both of them were walks. Here's a one-two. Breaking ball swung on and missed for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. Make that four straight strikeouts here for Carter Daniels, six in the game. Brings up the left fielder in Cason Smith. The union signee. Hopefully they're watching and realizing they're getting a pretty good product coming their way next season as that first pitch misses low and away for ball one. I think they already knew what they were getting, but they'd be really impressed on what they're getting right now. Smith here stepping out of the batter's box, getting the the sign from his head coach, Clint, right out of the dugout. The one up, and that one is fouled back for strike one. A bunt that was fouled back for strike one. Comes a 1 1. Swung on a miss for strike two. Wind is something else. <laughs> Comes a 1 2. Swung on a miss for strike three for the second out of the inning. Carter Daniel proving to be unhittable here. Starting things off here as we go to the top of the order with Jack Emerson. Struck out looking and hurts first to bat to lead off the game. Make that now seven strikeouts for Daniel. So I got seven strikeouts and one walk. First pitch here from Daniel. That's a ground ball here over to third. Throw over to Pope at first. Good job by Connor Pope to keep his foot on the bag on that one. And that will end up in the inning. Three up, three down for the Wildcats in the top of the third. So we go to the bottom half of the inning. Mustangs batting coming up next on the Exports Network. Southern Craft Manufacturing is dedicated to creating the finest quality and greatest value products in the death care industry. Southern Craft has perfected blending old world craftsmanship with modern manufacturing technologies to create a full line of steel, wood, and corrugated caskets. Family owned and operated for over 30 years, Southern Craft is now looking to hire local and regional truck drivers, welders, and production workers, each with great starting pay and a benefits package. For more information, visit southerncraftmfg.com. For the best at home care in Lawrence County, the Summit at Home is the right company for you. We have a friendly staff over 25 that is trained, educated, and qualified to help with all your needs within your household. Our non-medical services include transportation, housework, dressing, and companionship. We are also covered by most long-term care providers. For more information, please call 931-762-2310. You know, Storingly Furniture is not just some huge chain store, but we do have a 144,000 square foot showroom right here in Leoma, Tennessee. The Story family has worked together in the business for over 50 years now, and a familiar face is here to help you with whatever you need. That's what being a part of the community right here in the Tennessee Valley means. And if you have an issue, we're right here to take care of it. And don't forget free delivery. We invite you to come see us. We're Storingly Furniture. 
And back here at Loretta's, we go to the bottom of the third. No score here between the Wildcats and the Mustangs. Leading things off, 8-9-1 will be Grant Fisher here for Loretta. His one start of the season went one for two. First pitch from Bentley missed low and away for ball one. Here's a 1-0. That one misses over his head for ball two. One thing about Isaiah, Dusty, and we've seen him enough to know that he can be a little wild from time to time. He can be. And then there's times where he's, you know, he's hitting his spots like he's supposed to be. Next pitch, just like that, is in there for strike one. Great pitch. He's going to have to really match Carter Daniel. He's doing a great job. Seven strikeouts through 48 pitches in three innings. Here's a 2-1. Swung on a miss for strike two. He hasn't matched him strikeout-wise, but he's matched him as far as outs go. I got him at 32 pitches. Yep, that's what I got. Comes the 2-2. Two -two. This is low and in in the first full count worked by a Mustang hitter in this one. Full count offering. This one is fouled out of play. Man, the count will stay at three balls and two strikes. Here's a full count offering. Foul back and caught for strike three, and that's the third strikeout of the game here for Isaiah Bentley. And now it will be the first out of the inning. Brings up the center fielder in Kaysen Springer. Springer, who led off every game for Loretta last week, now in the second leadoff position, the nine hole. He had 200 during those games and trying to start things off here for the Mustangs. <laughs> ben Luna, you're evil. <laughs> Real evil. First pitch, a bunt attempt that's missed for strike one. <coughs> Here's the 0-1. Breaking ball, just misses away for ball one. Listen, that ball started middle ways of the right-handed batter box. <laughs> Still miss, but it, it was, still miss, but it was <laughs> almost a strike. There's a one one. Hit high in the air. TJ Gobble there at first. Gonna camp underneath it. Makes a catch. And that one will be the second out of the inning. Two gone here in the bottom of the third inning. Now it brings up the top of the order in Mason Tibwell. Tibwell, who flew out to left in his first of that, and let things off in the bottom of the first. You gotta love his walkouts. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Must have love a love him. <laughs> First pitch from Bentley. Change up, swung on a miss for strike one. You know, Bentley does a really good job, AJ, of mm -hmm. taking some off when he needs to. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's been throwing really well tonight, but right there just shows you he don't have to just bring it. Here's the 0 1. Breaking ball misses low for ball one. And he knows out there watching him, he knows he's just barely missing. Comes a 1-1. One, one. That one swung on and missed and got away from Cope for strike two. So one ball, two strikes, a leadoff hitter for the Mustangs. And Tibwell, as we mentioned earlier, is off to a great start coming into the game, inning 416. If he can get going, he can really bring a big spark to this Mustang lineup. Here's a 1-2. That one's in the dirt for ball two. You know, Mason's other one of those boys down here, Loretta, AJ, that just such a phenomenal athlete, you know, does it in three sports and is just a great kid. You know, Loretta's got something special. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. This one is sent in the right field. True a kid. That one's going to get over his head. And we're going to get our first hit of the game. Tibwell on his way to second, and he will hold up there with a two-out double. So they get their second base runner of the game. A great piece of hitting there by Mason Tibwell. Shoot that one in the right field off the wall. Brings up the catcher and the 2-0 hitter in Clint Seymour. Reach base via walk in his first at bat in the bottom of the first inning. So Mike, right when I say Tibwell could be the spark, he comes up with a big two-out double. Yeah, I mean, there you go. Opposite field, I mean, takes the outside pitch like he's supposed to and just go with it. Especially good contact on a cold day. Yes. Able to shoot that thing out the right. Seymour due up now. Runner on second here with two gone in the bottom of the third. 
First pitch on the outside corner for strike one. Pretty good size lead with Mason out there, and Jack was not coming in, easing up on him to hold him close. Mason, like you mentioned, such a great athlete, starting quarterback, point guard, <laughs> does about everything. Yeah. <laughs> and actually took on major responsibilities, you know, when Carter Daniel tore his ACL. Yeah, I mean. And, that, and yeah. then when Corbin Reynolds hurt his, hurt his wrist, he had to take over point guard duties during basketball season. He is just an incre incredible athlete. Yes. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Swung on a miss. Big cut there Big by Seymour cut. for strike two. Ooh, he was trying to put that one on the practice football field. I think he was. If he'd have hit it, it probably would have landed there. Or in that windshield of that car that's coming down the road. I'm sure someone's had to hit one out there before. Oh, I'm sure. Here's a one, two. That one, a rocket into the Loretta dugout. And the count will oh. stay one ball and two strikes. Now they're, Is everybody okay? I mean, they're looking you know, like. Somebody got hurt. Somebody got hurt. They are going to go check on him. We hope he is okay, but somebody did get hit. In that, that was situation. a missile. Yeah, win the dugout. Yeah. Yeah. So they are they've gotten the kid out, and thankfully we do have emergency. Looks like we do have emergency services. It is first responders' night here tonight, so. We hope uh, they can get him taken care of as quickly as possible. Yeah, I know it. it no, nobody at home seen that. Wow. I mean, that that, yeah. that was just a missile. I mean, yeah. that that's one of those things in baseball that yeah. just it's just you, you, yeah. you hate to see happen. Well, no, it doesn't matter who. The it, team yeah, is. it doesn't matter who the team is or anything. You, you, you hate to see that. As uh, both head coaches here coming together, and Zach Curtis and Clint Wright. And They did get the young man out of the dugout pretty quickly after it happened. Doesn't look like there's anybody else hurt in that dugout. I see a little movement back here behind the dugout from where I'm standing, AJ. It looks like we got some EMS guys. Yeah. It is first responders night, and I hope they can tend to him as quickly as possible as both head coaches will make their way back to the dugout, and we will we resume play, it looks we'll like. We resume play. Again, we, whoever was hit, we hope he – Covers quickly as someone who's taken a hardly thrown ball to the head or any part of the body knows it's you get and that's coming bit. off a bat. Yeah, in cold weather. Yes, doesn't feel great. No. Comes a one-two from Bentley. Hit high in the air to left center field. Smith and left. Come coming in on it makes a scoop catch and that one will end the inning. Mustang Strand won here in the bottom of the third inning as we go to the top of the fourth. No score in the Highway 43 series. That's coming up next on the Exports Network. Tennessee Flight Training. We are training the next generation of pilots. Come and see why Tennessee Flight Training is the best way to learn to fly. Tennessee Flight Training. The skies are calling. It's never too late to change your career or to go back to school. The decision to go back to school wasn't easy. Look at me, a wife, a mother, a degree in dental for 17 years. But here I am at LTC, studying towards a career in cosmetology, and it's been the best decision I have ever made. Whether you're shopping in Lawrenceburg, Loretto, Summertown, or Mount Pleasant, Tegan's Food Stores has you covered with the best quality food at the best prices. From Cash Saver to Superama and CB Foods, stop by your neighborhood Tegan's Food Store today. The Hidden Garden, located just off the square in downtown Lawrenceburg, is your hometown oasis for massage, aesthetics, full hair and nail services, and body waxing. Gift certificates are available, and be sure to follow them on Facebook for their specials. The Hidden Garden, your peace, your place. 222 Pulaski Street, Lawrenceburg, Tennessee, or found 931-762-9799. The Summit of Lawrenceburg is the premier senior and assisted living community in the region. The Summit makes it home for you or your loved one with diverse suites that welcome and encourage community, plus gathering spaces, neighborhoods, daily activities, and a wonderful staff that supports you every day. Hi, I'm 
I'm Tara Blue. I'm the new director of the summit, and we would like to invite you and your family to come and tour our facility. We would love to see you here. I do too. We're, just... <laughs> we're, back. we're back here on the X Sports <laughs> Network here. No scores. We go to the top of the fourth inning here. Two, three, four. Do up for the Wildcats. Alex Bedford followed by True Kid and Isaiah Bentley facing the red hot Carter Daniel through three innings. Seven strikeouts, one walk. Right now at 48 pitches. One of the strikeout victims was Bedford in the first inning. First pitch. Nice breaking ball in there for strike one. Now batting number eight, Alex Bedford. Comes a 1 0. Swung on a miss for strike two. <coughs> yeah, hope to. Comes the 0 2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. A strikeout of the game here for Daniel. Brings up True a Kid, the right fielder. Only base runner so far here in the game for Lawrence County. Got Drew a walk there in the top of the first inning. Drew had a good weekend in Florida, AJ. First pitch here from Daniel. Breaking ball. He went around for strike one. Got his first career home run as a Wildcat. Hit 266 during that time. Did reach base several times. Here's the 0-1. That one misses away for ball one. And that might have been a strike if Clinton would have hung on to it. Uh, that was close. And it might have been a makeup for the first pitch as well. <laughs> so <laughs> it would have been one and one regardless. Yeah. Here's a one one. This one hit high in the air. Out there in center field and making the catch for the Mustangs will be Cason Springer. So two gone. Here in the top of the fourth inning. Brings up the cleanup hitter and Isaiah Bentley. Well, as a pitcher, and we've we've said it a lot of times throughout our our, our career in sports, is he's got to help himself here. Mm -hmm. Bentley, who grounded out the short in his first at bat in the first inning, takes a first pitch strike on the outside corner. Here's the 0-1. Breaking ball misses away for ball one. And the 1-1. One, one. Swung on a miss for strike two. And here comes a 1-2. This one is fouled away, and the Cowboys stay at one ball and two strikes. Daniel is working so fast in such a rhythm that it's, it's been hard for everyone to keep track of. Here it so is. I, I think I'm off, but I don't know. Comes a 1-2. And foul down the right field line again. The count will stay at one ball and two strikes. <laughs> Cal Johnson quick on the sound effects here at Gary Landfield. Quick on the horn. And the 1-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Make that nine strikeouts for Carter Daniel through this game as we go to the bottom of the four. Still no score between Loretto and Lawrence County here on the Exports Network. If you want the best clean and wash experience, you need to catch the happy wave at Tidal Wave Auto Spa. Don't settle for streaks, dirt residue, water spots, and weak vacuums that you can get at just any car wash. At all our locations, you will be greeted by a smiling attendant who will pre-wash your car front and back to remove any stubborn bugs and dirt before guiding you through the tunnel, where your car will be treated to the ultimate spa treatment with state-of-the-art equipment and one-of-a-kind wash experience that will give your car a showroom shine. Afterwards, you can help yourself to our free powerful vacuums, cleaning cloths, and glass and surface cleaner for the perfect finishing touch. 
When it comes to caring for your car, don't settle for any wash and pay for all the extras. Get the best when you catch the happy wave at your local Tidal Wave Auto Spa. This is Jason at Volco Auto Supply in Lawrenceburg. For over 90 years, Volco has been a family-owned company. We're proud of our past and excited about our future. We're open to the public for wholesale and retail trade. We carry product lines such as Milwaukee Tools, Lucas Oil, and Malco products. We carry all major brands of lubricants like Shell Rotella, Avalon, Castrol GTX, Mystic, Motorcraft, Valvoline, Kindle, and Mobile. We here at Volco offer a complete line of car detailing supplies, shop supplies, tire repair products, and lawnmower supplies. Check us out online at volcoautosupply.com or at 460. Team Buffalo Road here in Lawrence. This is the X Sports Network. Carter Daniel leading things off here for Loretto here in the bottom of the fourth inning. No score here as he takes a first pitch strike here from Isaiah Bentley. Through three innings, one hit, no runs, walking three strikeouts. Right now, 49 pitches. Pitch number 50 sent up the middle. Emerson makes a nice play at short. Throw over to Gobble, picks it up out of the ground, and that will be the first out of the inning. Good job by the freshman. Hard hit ball. And, uh, very hard hit ball there by Daniels trying to yes, help his was. own cause. Yep. Now brings up the left fielder, and Miles Moore off to a great start this year. He's hitting 416. And he <laughs> hit a tapper back to Bentley in the uh, first inning. Trying to get some redemption oh, here in what has been a pitcher's duel on a very cold night here at Gary Lamb Field. First pitch from Bentley. That one's in there for strike one. You know, both pitchers are doing a really good job of keeping the ball away from the hitters. Comes the 0 1. That one is foul for strike two. Keep moving behind the big guy here. Maybe you'll shield some. Uh, good wind. for something. Yeah. Comes the 0 2. This is high for ball one. I bet Kevin's got a heater. I think Kevin, is Kevin at softball tonight? He's somewhere. Yeah, him and Hayden. I think him yeah. and Hayden are at the high school. Here's a one two. That one is hit hard, but foul down the left field line. The count will stay where it is. Summertown got a play at Vanderbilt's field against Smith County today. Summertown softball was against Forest. Lawrence County softball district opener against Tullahoma. And you had uh, Loretto and Columbia playing right behind us here. This one is tapped foul down the right field line. Count will stay where it is. A one ball and two strikes. You know, right there, I love that. It's not a baseball game yeah. unless you get that. Comes a one, two. Hit high and foul down the left field line and Moore and Bentley having a heck of a battle here. <laughs> That's what I was just fixing to say. Miles is not backing down and Bentley's still coming at him. And Miles has put some muscle and some weight on in the offseason. Yeah, Where's big the kid, man. Big legs. Comes a one-two. That one misses in the dirt for ball two. Evens up the count of two balls and two strikes. We're even in a concrete press box in Ladies and gentlemen, you can hear how hard the wind is whipping straight in from left field. 2-2. Two -two. Breaking ball just misses away, and Moore is worth the full count. that was close. That was a good pitch. Pitch number eight there of the bat. First row battle Bentley has faced here in the game. Full count offering. Misses in for ball four, and we'll get our first base runner here of the inning. That's the third base runner of the game for Loretta. Lawrence County has only had one. <laughs> so that's how good both of these pitchers have been. Brings up Connor Pope, struck out swinging his first to bat in the second inning. Pope, who had a big, big week last week against the Tennessee Monarchs, Marshall County in two games against Giles County, hitting 384. Quick throw over by Bentley is trying to catch more off guard. He wasn't a foot off the bag, but he... <laughs> Try one of those quick throws. Yeah. Miles does take a pretty decent lead over there at first. And we'll check over again. You know, Connor Pope's another one of those kids, AJ, we was talking about down here at Loretta and this in this stable athletes they got. 
phenomenal football player. Yeah, very good center, linebacker, defensive lineman. He did all, did everything to carry the ball as Moore takes off. The throw does not – throw was in time, but uh, your second baseman was not there in time, and that would be a stolen base. It's called a strike. On one to count here. That's a breaking ball. That's going to get away from Pope. Moore is going to make his way over the third, and now we got the first run of the game 90 feet away. Yeah, ball just got away from, from Cutler. Coach Wright's going to make a trip to the mound here. That will be our first mound meeting of the game off of that. So I have a discussion here. Right. Understanding the situation here that runs are going to be at a premium in this game as well as both pitchers have, have been going. Sure. I think this is one of these meetings here. Just kind of keep your head, settle down. <laughs> Kyle Johnson playing a song from The Hangover. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> you couldn't have timed that one any better. Yes. One ball, one strike, one out here. Miles Moore standing on third for Loretta. Connor Pope, the five-hole hitter at the dish. Corner infield playing in for Lawrence County. And this is a ground ball. Moore's going to stay at third. <coughs> Throw over to first is in time for the second out of the inning. So two gone, a runner on third here for the Mustangs in the bottom of the fourth. I'm sorry, I haven't changed the scoreboard over. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Now I've got it right, and that's going to bring up the right fielder in Lucas Laxon. It's cold. Even my mind has gotten a bit cold. Laxon hit 384 last week for the Mustangs. Got a chance here to bring home the first run of the game. Infield playing back for Lawrence County. And now they're going to intentionally walk Laxon in this situation. So for runners on the corners with two gone and bring up designated hitter Jackson Tragula. One of the three strikeouts in the game here for Isaiah Bentley. Yeah, they're looking for a ground ball now. Yeah, and they force an almost every base. First pitch here from Bentley. This one's hit high in the air and out of play. Strike one. I'm not cold natured at all. When I tell you it's cold, it's cold. It's slated, according to the Tennessee Valley weather app, slated to be in about the mid 30s tonight. And with that wind, we have <laughs> dipped below that. Oh, we're, we're in the 20s. <laughs> Huge lead at first. And it is. Next pitch, the 0 1. Just misses high and away for ball one. Man, just baseball talk here. I would have really thought he'd have been going on that pitch. Yeah. Yeah, Cole Schultz playing about two feet. He's almost playing on the grass for Loretto over, excuse me, for Lawrence County at third. And Bentley now steps off the rubber. Because Chagla's getting a, uh, just a huge lead. Yeah. Coach Laws is going over there talking to him, so I don't know if he's missed a sign. Yeah. You know, it, that's why I said what I did. It's la Laxon. Oh, excuse me, Laxon. Here's a 1 1. And he does take off. C Cope throws over to third, and Laxon will get in the second unchallenged. The two balls, one strike. We got 63. 66. Now next pitch swung on and missed here for strike two. Count evens up two balls, two strikes as Bentley trying to get out of the jam. Comes a 2-2. Swung on a miss, gets away from Cope. Throw over to first. Will be in Good time job. and that one will end the inning. Bentley gets out of the jam here in the bottom of the fourth. So we go to the top of the fifth. Still no score here between the Mustangs and the Wildcats. It's coming up next on the Exports Network. 
Truitt's Garage Doors in Leoma, Tennessee is your one stop for new garage door installations for all commercial and residential buildings, plus they offer full service on all existing doors. Need a new garage door opener? Truitt's Garage Doors has you covered. As an Amar Gold and LiftMaster dealer, Truitt's Garage Doors offers the best pricing anywhere in the area. A family-owned and operated business, Truitt's Garage Doors has been helping Tennessee and Alabama residents since 1999. Call the pros today at Truitt's Garage Doors, 931-201-6464. Master's Home Gallery, where you'll always get a special price every day. Shop their new showroom full of name brand furniture, sofas, recliners, dining and bedroom suits, Serta bedding, lots of tables and chairs just to match your decor. McMaster's Home Gallery also has GE appliances. Stop by on Highway 43 in Loretto or call 853-6140. This is the X Sports Network. Still no scores. We go to the top of the fifth here between Lawrence County and Loretto. Carter Daniels first pitch here to TJ Gobbles on the outside corner for strike one. TJ, one of nine strikeout victims by Daniel here so far in the game. The next pitch, that one's on the outside corner again for strike two. Daniel has been on fire in this game. 50, 52 pitches, has nine strikeouts, one walk, no hits, no runs, no errors. Here's the 0-2. It's a ground ball, tap foul down the left field line, and the count will stay where it is, and no balls and two strikes. TJ back playing baseball after a long, long absence away from the game. It's about a two, two to three-year absence. Comes the 0-2 again. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that is strikeout number 10 and the first out of the inning here in the top of the fifth. Brings up Gavin Glass, the second baseman, struck out looking at his first at bat in the top of the second inning. He faces Daniel here for the second time. First pitch here from Daniel on the outside corner for strike one. Next pitch, just misses low for ball one. Now we are just above the hour mark, already starting the top of the fifth here. As Glass taps this one here to Fisher at third, his throw to first will not be in time. An infield single by Gavin Glass, just the second base runner of the game for Lawrence County and their first hit. Good piece of hitting by Gavin. He just stood in there in the box, took a little low pitch, and bounced one away. Wasn't a hard hit ball, but he got on base. That's what they need. Brings up Cole Schultz, the third baseman. Struck out swinging his first at bat in the second. It's Daniel here for the second time. And only the second base runner of the game here for Lawrence County. First pitch, swung on a miss for strike one. The Riders had four base runners in the game, and yet nobody has touched home plate so far tonight. Here's the 0-1. Foul back for strike two. Carter's in such a groove, AJ. He's not even checking Gavin at first base. I mean, like, he don't even – he's not even looking. Or he didn't that time. Come, well, and that oh. one's going to get away. Glass is going to make his way here to second. He's going to make the turn and go to third. And the throw will not be in time, and Glass gets over to third there off the air. First air of the game for either side, and now we got a runner on third. One out here in the top of the fifth. Big spot right here for Cole Schultz, AJ. Base hit scores a run. Ball hit deep scores a run. 
Infield now going to play in for Loretto here in the top of the fifth inning. Guard that run is what they're going to do. Here's the 0 2. Just missed away for ball one. <laughs> that was a Less frozen too close rope. To Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Here's a one two. Breaking ball. Schultz lays off of that one for ball two. Count evens up here. Two balls, two strikes. Runner on third. One out. No score here in the top of the fifth. Here's a two two. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that's the second out of the inning and the 11th strikeout of the game. Carter Daniel. Man, he is cruising. 72 pitches, 11 strikeouts, and now we're going to have a pitch runner, pitch hitter into the game. That's A.J. Daniel. Coming in for Cutler Cope. Pitch hitter is A.J. Daniel. A.J. Daniel getting the pitch hit. Big situation here for the freshman against the rivals. Like, no gloves. No, I know, man. He had a pretty good little series down in Florida, too. First pitch here from Daniel. That one's going to get away. Oh, he's going to score. Glass is on his way home. He will score. And Lawrence County will lead this one one to nothing. Just got away from Seymour. And the Wildcats strike first here in this Highway 43 series. That's a good set of base running by Gavin Glass. Next pitch from Daniel to Daniel. Swung on a miss for strike one. Now listen, to Daniel here at Lawrence County, he's not going to get cheated at the plate. The 1-1. One, one. Chases one above his hands for strike two. Daniel trying to close out this inning in a big way for Loretta. Here's a one-two. Fastball misses away, evens up the count here. Two balls and two strikes. Here's a two-two. Just misses low for ball three. Just, I believe, only the second full count situation Carter is facing. I think you're game. right. A full count offering. Foul back, and the count will stay full. <coughs> Here's a full count offer. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. The Wildcats will strike first. Here in the top of the fifth, they lead them one to nothing as we go to the bottom half of the inning. Coming up next on the Exports Network. LUS is committed to our customers, from providing and maintaining energy efficient utility services to friendly, helpful customer service, LUS is there. At LUS, we're always challenging everything we know, every day. We strive to improve efficiency and reliability, while focusing on our responsibility to our customers and the community. It's our promise to provide dependable service to our customers every time. Because we don't just work in Lawrence County, we live here too. A moment in real estate with my dad, Jeff Lee. You know, I get asked a lot about what the market's going to do, how's the real estate market. I've been selling real estate for a long time. And nobody has a crystal ball. And you know what? When it's your time to buy or your time to sell, it really doesn't matter what the market's doing. It's your time, and you have to do something maybe. What makes a difference is the agents and the experience that go to work for you. We're Keller Williams Hood Company, located here in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We can help. Hood Company, powered by Keller Williams, the number one name in real estate. This is the X Sports Network. We go to the bottom of the fifth here. Lawrence County leading Loretto after getting a run there off a wild pitch in the top of the fifth inning. They lead it one to nothing as Loretto sends eight nine one as Grant Fisher to lead things off here for Loretto. Bottom of the fifth inning. First pitch from Isaiah Bentley. 
It's in there for strike one. So far through four innings, Bentley has given up a hit, no runs, three walks, four strikeouts. And right now at 69 pitches, pitch number 70, it's a ground ball. Emerson gets it a second. Excuse me, it's short, falls down. That's going to be the second hit of the game for Loretto and the first leadoff runner for either side to reach in the game. Runner on first off of the hit. Now we'll bring up the center fielder in Kaysen Springer, the nine-hole hitter, or some people would call that your second leadoff. As Bentley checks on Fisher over at first. Bentley going to check on Fisher again. Throw not in time. And the first pitch. That's a ground ball here through the right side. Gobble's going to scoop it up. Tosses over to Bentley. Gets there in time. And Bentley throws it to second. It hits Fisher, who is just standing on second base. <laughs> Moves the runner in the scoring position with the one out here on the bottom of the fifth. Now brings up top of the order, Mason Tibwell. Tibwell, who has the lone extra base hit in the game with the ball off the wall with two outs. That one happened in the third inning. He's one for two. So he can help out the Loretto cause here if he can do that again. First pitch from Bentley. Hit high in the air, deep center field. Bedford makes the catch, throws over the third. That is a rocket there in time. Wow. Fisher's going to stay at second base, and we got two gone here in the bottom of the fifth. <laughs> that is a cannon in this cold weather. Now brings up the 2-0 hitter and Clint Seymour. 0 for 1 with a walk in the first and flew out to Smith and left. In the third, he has a chance here to tie up the game with the two-out hit. As the old saying goes, Dusty, two-out hits win baseball games. Especially in a game like this, you know. Loretta's not going to have had one runner at third. First pitch from Bentley. This is way in for ball one. Isaiah's done a really good job of fighting through the trouble. Here's a 1-0. Hit high in the air. Cope. I'm going to watch that one go into the stands for strike one. One ball, one strike. Runner on second. Two gone here in the bottom of the fifth. A 1-0 Lawrence County lead. Bentley checks on Fisher over there at second base. Keeping him honest. Fisher still going to extend that lead. Big lead over at second. Here's a 1-1. One -one. This is away for ball two. Here's a 2-1. This is high for ball three. Then late comes set, and here comes a 3-1. And big cut by Seymour. That one's fouled back. Count goes full with three balls and two strikes. He was not getting cheated on that one. And he is trying to put that one over the fence in a hurry here. <laughs> Give his team a lead. If solid contact on that swing, he might have done it. It's going to be tough to hit one out tonight. I'm not saying it can't be done. Check on Fisher in second. And the throw and the tag are not in time. 
Full count offering. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that one will end the inning. Bentley gets out of another jam in the bottom of the fifth. Wildcats lead them one to nothing as we go to the top of the sixth here on the X Sports Network. What really matters during the ball game, we're at that point in the season where some are just beginning, some have already ended, and others are at that point where it's either win or go home. Depending on what your perspective is, it changes everything, doesn't it? In 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 18, we're reminded we don't look at the things that are seen, but at the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporary, but the things that are unseen are eternal. Keep your focus, keep your perspective on the right things, the things of God, the eternal things. And that message brought to you by your friends at the Leoma Church of Christ. For the best meal from south of the border, head to Cocina Real in Puente Grande for lunch and dinner. With a wide array of mouth-watering entrees, there is something for everyone on the menu. And you can't forget the cheese dip. They'll treat you like family, and you'll never leave hungry. Make Cocina Real Mexican Restaurant and Puente Grande Mexican Restaurant your choice for authentic cuisine. Located in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. is the X Sports Network. We go to the top of the sixth inning here in the Highway 43 series with Loretto trailing Lawrence County one to nothing. 9-1-2 due up here for the Wildcats. Kaysen Smith to lead things off. Struck out in his first at bat in the third inning. Carter Daniel back on the mound and dealing once again. Throws a bullet for strike one. Through five innings, one hit, one run, one walk. 12 strikeouts as he's quickly ahead here 0-2. Right now, it's seven, 81 pitches. And before I can say another word, get strikeout number 13 of the game. He's not taking any time. He, is, he threw 29 pitches in that first inning, and since then has just been on an absolute roll. Brings up Jack Emerson, 0 for 2, strikeout looking in the first, and a ground out to third in the third. First pitch from Daniel. That one is in there for strike one. It's four straight strikes, AJ. He's had, I believe, three good afternoon, good evening, good night strikeouts. That next pitch is in there for strike two. <coughs> Man. And this game is moving by as fast as you could move for high school baseball. Or just baseball in general. Here's the 0-2. That one is fouled. Oh. We've already uh, had somebody already heard in the – Got hit in the mouth in the Loretto dugout. We will withhold his name for the time being, but we hope he's okay. That next pitch just misses away for ball one. Got hit on the side of the mouth, and thankfully they, on well, first responders night, we had a lot of people here who was able to take care of the young man in a hurry, and we hope for a very speedy recovery. Absolutely, and we don't get that. We don't have that many people at the ball field most of the time. And this one is sent high into the left field, but Miles Moore, sunshine in left field makes the catch, and that will be the first out of the inning. Sunshine, I like it. Yeah. 
his dad won't mind that I said No, that. not at all. Miles, who uh, did some color commentary for us during the Babe Roof, did a really good yes, job. Yes, he really enjoyed it. Actually, I got to call with him one night. Brings up Alex Bedford, the center fielder. Struck out, looking in the first, struck out, swinging in the fourth. First pitch here from Daniel. This is low for ball one. Here comes a 1 0. Breaking ball misses high for ball two. Looks like that one just got away from Carter there. Well, that's like the only second or third pitch that actually got away from him. Yeah, All he night. Is, he hasn't. When you look at his uh, pitch disparity here, 61 strikes to 28 balls. <laughs> And he has one walk all night. Yeah. He's given up two base runners, one walk and one hit. Next pitch swung on a miss. Alex swung out of his shoes there for strike one. I think Alex might have tweaked something there a little bit as he's called time and trying to. You see, when he swung, he kind of fell backwards yeah. awkwardly. And that will give me a chance to walk behind you and get out of the wind, Phyllis. I don't know if it's his knee, his ankle. Yeah, that, it's his yeah. it's his right leg. Yeah, he's looks like it's his ankle, and he looks like he's okay. Two of them on the count here, the two hole hitter for Lawrence County. Here's the two one. This is low for ball three. Rare time that Daniel's fallen behind in the count in this game. Here's a 3-1. Swung on and missed. Another big cut there by Bedford for strike two. And we do have some action in the Loretto bullpen. And a full count offering. That one is fouled away, and the count will stay full with three balls and two strikes. Alex just looking for something out on the plate, put the bat on the ball. Finding a good pitch to hit <laughs> from Carter Daniel has not been. No. It's been few and far between in this game. Next pitch, swung on a miss for strike three. That is strikeout number 14 in the game for Daniel, and that one will end the inning. Go to the bottom of the fourth. Lawrence County leading Loretta one to nothing. That's next on the Exports Network. Make your property rock and roll with services from GNS Excavating, specializing in white sand, compost, mulch, topsoil, landscape gravel, and still landscape edging. Turn to the pros who know how to make your project shine with years of experience. The best part is they're locally owned and operated. Choose from a vast selection of mulch and rock from their conveniently located facility at Number 3 Valley Road in Lawrenceburg, just off Buffalo Road. Phone 931-279-3841 and get started today. Patient care at its finest is found at Tennessee Valley Family Care. From primary to infant care, physicals, women's health, allergies, diabetes management, plus on-site labs and ultrasounds. Let practitioners Liz Phillips, Kathy Cohen, and Stephanie Tucker care for your health and your entire family's health. Let Tennessee Valley Family Care help you reach your health care goals. Carter Daniel lead things off here in the bottom of the six. First pitch swinging for strike one here by Daniel. Daniel has done an incredible job on the mound. One hit, one run, one walk, 14 strikeouts. Trying to help his own cause here. Down one to nothing as that one is fouled away for strike two here in the bottom of the six. This has been a rapidly Isaiah. moving game. It has, and Isaiah had done a bad job himself on the mound. 
Rod Manford is very happy with the pace of this game. Here's the 0-1. This is way high and in for ball one. Benley's done a good job himself through five innings, two hits, no runs, five strikeouts, three walks right now at 81 pitches. And the 1-2. Misses away for ball two. It's dugout one at that one, but it was a big, good foot off the plate. Yeah, it was a foot off the plate. Good pitch. Yeah. It's one of those like you talked about with Carter earlier, chase pitch. This one sent in the left center field, and that's going to fall in for a base hit. So Carter is going to help his own cause. Just a second leadoff hitter to reach base in the third hit, surrendered by Isaiah Bentley here in the game. Curtis Runner, number 34. As Clint Wright will make his way out to the mound to talk with the senior. And looks like we don't have a 34. I don't have a number 34 on my right. roster. It's the whole infield coming in for Lawrence County on this one. <laughs> oh, Kyle. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, and he's just sitting over here to my yeah. left, guys, just cheesing. Exactly. <laughs> And Isaiah's dancing out there. I just happened to be zoomed in. <laughs> There's Miles Moore now do up here, runner on first. Nobody gone here in the bottom of the six. A good chance here for Loretta to answer. First pitch, and Moore's going to square around the bunt, gets it down. Bentley, throw over to first, will be in time, and a nice sacrifice bunt by Miles Moore. Moves the tying run to second base with one gone here in the bottom of the sixth. Now brings up Connor Pope, the first baseman, who's 0 for 2 in the game. Pope, who struck out swinging in the second and grounded out two second in the fourth. Pope, we mentioned how good of a football player he was, a very good baseball player, but hey, student section wise, no one's better. In Southern Middle Tennessee than Connor Pope is as he swings and misses at strike one. And let me tell you something. That's a big kid. Yeah, and if you're watching him play football, he moves so well. He does. He plays that middle linebacker position about as well as anybody in Middle Tennessee high school football. Next pitch is way in for ball one as the count evens up. One ball, one strike. It's a one nothing Lawrence County lead here in the bottom of the sixth. The runner on second. Down. That one is beautifully placed. What a play by Isaiah Bentley to make the throw. Wow, what a play. Good bunt by Pope, but Isaiah, great job. That does advance the runner to third, and the tying run is now 90 feet away. Good Two job outs. there. Good job there by Connor to move her, move him over, but what an incredible play by Isaiah Bentley. So two gone here in the bottom of six. Ends up Lucas Laxon, the right fielder. Laxon, who's 0 for 1, a fly out to right in the second and a walk in the fourth. And They're going to walk him. Just like they did the last time he came up, so that's his second <coughs> intentional walk here in the game to bring up Jackson Traglia. Struck out swinging both of his at-bats in the second and fourth innings. So he's got a huge chance at redemption here, and I think we're going to get a pitch hitter. will get a pitch in her in this situation. It's like number seven. That is Jaden Aaron. So Jaden Aaron, the super utility man for Loretta during basketball season. Off to a pretty decent start baseball-wise here, and he will get a chance to pitch in here in the bottom of the sixth. Sandlot music here. Yeah. Man, we should man, we send Kyle to the trash pandas or the sounds or something. Man, I'm telling you, great music guy over here. Yeah. Stepping in for the Mustangs, number seven, Jaden Aaron. 
Runners on the corners, two gone, and they're oh, going to get there. a pickoff over there at first to end the inning. What a great job by Isaiah Bentley to pick off the runner there at first in. Good in job. Laxon. Great awareness and by that Isaiah. In the inning. So we will go to the top of the seventh. They won the nothing Lawrence County lead. It's coming up next on the Exports Network. Hey everyone, this is Landon Saunders. And this is Nate Patterson with Cloud9 Fiber. We're excited to finally be able to offer Lawrenceburg our blazing fast, reliable, and affordable fiber internet services. If you're looking for a more reliable and more affordable provider, we at Cloud9 Fiber have you covered. Plans start at $50 a month and we can offer up to a gigabit to your home or business. We are excited to be able to offer your first month of service entirely free. We encourage you to sign up on cloud9fiber.com or by calling 931 201 9098 so we can help you make the switch today. At CMB Linen, fast, friendly, and reliable service is our promise to you because you're not just a customer, you're family. From multi use linen to branded floor coverings and a complete range of cleaning supplies, CMB Linen is here to make sure you have everything you need. From our high quality products to our fast, friendly, and reliable service, you'll experience the difference with CMB Linen. Because you're not just a client, you're part of our family. You'll be winning with CNB Linen. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go to stop to complete your home, business, a combination of both, or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop Services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers, and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. This is the X Sports Network. Moving ahead here to the top of the seventh inning, Lawrence County with a one to nothing lead. New pitcher into the game for Loretto is Dylan Thompson will come in for Carter Daniel, who pitched one heck of a game for the Mustangs, going six innings, giving up one hit off one, giving one run off one hit, a walk, one error, and had 14 strikeouts and finished with 94 pitches. So Thompson here to face the heart of the order for the Wildcats. True a kid to lead things off. The only person that Daniel didn't strike out as he went 0 for 1 with a walk and a fly out to center. First pitch here from Thompson. Breaking ball in there for strike one. Pretty good breaking ball for Thompson to start things off. I wasn't expecting that on his first pitch. Me either. Man, just put it in there beautifully. Here's the 0-1. Another one, but that one is in the dirt for ball one. Sure, trying to look. He's looking to get on base. You know, Lawrence County trying to add to this one-run lead. Number 22, not number 23, Dylan Thompson. That's Lucas Laxon into the game, who's pitching for them. So now it's two balls and one strike. My apologies, I can't see that far. And I'm the one legally blind without contact. Here's a 2-1. That one misses a little bit for ball three. Comes the 3-1. That one is in there, and the count will go full with three balls and two strikes. I like to thank our, our pals up here in Loretta's press box for making the correction for us. Absolutely. Comes a full count offering. That one is fouled down the right field line. The count will stay at three balls and two strikes. It's so cold, my ink pen is trying to quit working. Wind has died down just a bit, but not much here. It's still pretty chilly. Full count offering. Ground ball down the left field line and foul. It's pitch number seven. We'll keep it a full count. And 
And another 3-2. Sent up the middle. That's going to get through for a base hit. So Truer Kid reaches base safely for the second time in the game and just the second hit of the game for Lawrence County. Brings up the opposing pitcher in Isaiah Bentley. So first leadoff batter to reach for the Wildcats in this one. Comes at a good time with a 1-0 lead in the top of the seventh. That's exactly what Lawrence County was looking for. Brings up Bentley, who's 0 for 2, ground out the short in the first and struck out swinging in the fourth. Looks like we got a Curtis, we got a pitch runner in there for Lawrence County. I didn't see a number. Doesn't have a big lead over at first. There's a pitch here from Laxon. Breaking ball, full Bentley in there for strike one. Who's the 0 1? Fouled away for strike two. Isaiah, another one of the hitters that don't wear gloves. Don't know how they do it. I don't either. But you know, think about it, I don't think he wears gloves playing football either. Here's the 0-2. That one is in the dirt for ball one. A good block by Seymour behind the plate. Here's a 1-2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. First strikeout of the game for Laxon. Got one gone with one on in the top of the seventh inning to bring up T.J. Gobble. Gobble 0 for 2, a pair of strikeouts in the second and fifth. Trying to get some redemption here in the top of the seventh. Yeah. First pitch from Laxon. This is in for ball one. Big kid here in TJ. He's got a big stick. He can put the bat on the ball. He can make something happen. And the 1 0. Swung on a miss for strike one. Big cut there from TJ. Here's a 1-1 in the dirt for ball two. Here's a 2-1. Hit high in the air down the left field line. Fisher giving chase to it at third and just out of his reach, and that will fall in to make it a 2-2 count. Good effort there by Fisher to try to track, track that one down. That one, anytime you're trying to run and that ball is curving and you know, you're trying to look up above you to your left or right, it's, it's never an easy play. And, it just, and the ball just keeps going away from you. Right. Here's a 2-2. Runner takes off. That one misses away. What a throw from Clint what Seymour. What a shot. He is out. That will be the second out of the inning. Incredible throw by Clint Seymour. That was a frozen rope, and he didn't have a chance. Mm. My goodness, what a shot. He, boy, he popped up and let that one fly. He was out by a mile. Full count offering. On the outside corner for strike three, and that <coughs> will end the inning. The 16th strikeout against Lawrence County hitting. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Final chance here for Loretto. That's coming up next on the Exports Network. Swap and Shop Center in Lawrenceburg is your go-to stop to complete your home, business, 
a combination of both or really anything you can think of. With one of the region's biggest selection of bedroom furniture, name brand mattresses, recliners, living room and dining room suits, accents for the home or office, quality name brand appliances, and did I mention Swap and Shop services what they sell? This is family owned and operated business at its best. And the best part is, they'll treat you like family too. We got bedroom suits, mattresses, dining room suits, appliances, outdoor equipment, mowers and more. See us at the Swap and Shop Center in Larkburg, Tennessee. A local law firm respected throughout the state. Generations of clients have turned to Boston, Holt, and Durham since 1948. We assist individuals and businesses with their legal needs, including real estate, property closings, personal injury, employment discrimination, and family law. Our clients get the personal attention and convenience of a hometown law firm with the resources and ability to handle any case. Come see us at Boston, Holt, and Durham. Go to the bottom of the seventh here, Jackson Tragula to lead things off for Loretto. Final chance here is Lawrence County leads one to nothing. First pitch from Isaiah Bentley coming on here, trying to close things out here. Gets a first pitch strike. Bentley through six innings, three hits, no runs, four walks, and five strikeouts right now at 89 pitches. Pitch number 90 misses way away for ball one. Done a great job so far trying to finish it out. Made some great plays in the field and <laughs> Got a huge pickoff with runners on the corners and two gone. And then the <laughs> bottom of the six. Next pitch misses away to make it 2 1. Have, don't hear any action in the or see any action I don't in see the Lawrence anything. County uh -oh. action. Uh, Lawrence County bullpen. So this is Bentley's to close out as the next pitch misses in for ball three. Very chilly night and a very fast paced moving game. 3 1 from Bentley. On the outside corner, a changeup for strike two, and the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. Here's a 3 2. Swung on a miss for strike three, and that will be the first out of the inning. His sixth strikeout of the game, one gone here in the bottom of the seventh, brings up the third baseman in Grant Fisher. He's one for two, a strikeout swinging in the third, and a single in the fifth. First pitch from Bentley, and that's going to be a breaking ball that hits him. So that is the fifth free pass issued by Bentley in the game, and one on, one out. Now we got a pitch hitter into the game here for, and I believe that's Kaysen Springer. That is Kaysen Springer. Yes. Yep. And Zach Curtis, that coach for Loretto, comes out, check in, and like we're going to get a Hayden Butcher will come in and pitch run here for Loretto as Grant Fisher's reach base twice. Get pitch ran for here. So the tying run now standing on first with one gone in the bottom of the seventh. Might see Springer, who's got a lot of speed here. He might lay down a bunt to move the runner over, and he could reach base if the bunt's placed in a good spot. Is Cole Schultz playing on the grass at third for Lawrence County. First pitch, hit high in the air. And making the play at second base is Gavin Glass, and we got two gone here in the top of the seventh. So we go the top of the order here in Mason Tibwell. Tibwell, one for three, fly out to left in the first, a two-out double off the right field wall in the third. Fly out the center in the fifth. He's made good solid contact with Bentley in this game as Clint Wright will make his way out to the mound. Conversation here with his guys with two gone in the bottom of the seven. <laughs> <God. laughs> 
I can't help it. Yeah, Kyle Johnson is on his game. It's because he's got that heater. It's on 90 degrees, and he is. And he's less than a foot away from yeah. it. I don't know how yeah. that melted his jacket yet. Not only is he getting cooked, he is cooking on the uh, sound effects. Yes. So, Tibwell, runner on first, two gone here in the bottom of the seventh. The Mustangs are down to the final out. First pitch from Bentley. That one is fouled down the right field line for strike one. Here's the 0-1. Misses low, and the count will go with one ball, one strike. Bentley now at 100, nope, just 98 pitches. Mm. Here's a 1-1. One, one. This is high and in for ball two. Getting no action in the Wildcat bullpen. Here's a 2-1. High and in for ball three. He's just looking for a strike now, AJ. Yeah. Just trying to find his own, finish his game out. Can't be too good against as good of a hitter as Tibwell is. No, you just got to throw it. Here's a 3-1. On the inside corner, and the count goes full with three balls and two strikes. That's what you want right here. Bentley throw checks over again, trying to get, trying to get that uh, inning-ending pickoff like he did in the bottom of the sixth. Boy, it'd be a heck of a way to win this game. And the full count offering on the yes. outside corner for strike three, and that one will end the game. The seventh strikeout of the game for Isaiah Bentley gives Lawrence County a one-to-nothing win. And the Wildcats are going to improve to 5-1 and one on the season. Loretto is going to drop to a 4-1, picking up their first loss here of the game. This game was dominating by pitching here from start to finish. Carter Daniel with six innings, giving up a hit, a run, a walk with 14 strikeouts. And Isaiah Benley went the distance through 102 pitches, three hits, no runs, five walks, and seven strikeouts. Dusty, what are your final thoughts here on tonight's game? Great game, AJ. I didn't expect anything less. We've seen a pitching duo. We knew what we were going to get from Carter. Isaiah stepped in a roll. We knew what he had done down at the beach. He's brought it back home. You know, this started the season right here for us. You know, we had those games last week, but this right here starts it. And Lawrence County is going to try to try to get another one tomorrow night. And, uh, hey, Loretta, keep your head up. Great game. Just um, – Pitching duo, that's what I like to see. I'm an ex-pitcher, so I do like to see it. I know I, offense is fun, but I do like to see these pitching duos that we get to see here in high school bas baseball. And we're going to have another good contest between these two, actually more towards the end of the season. And uh, these are two very good baseball teams, and we expect big things from yeah, we them do. throughout the course of the season. So that will do it for tonight. Up next for uh, Lawrence County, they'll be at home taking on Wilson tomorrow night. We will have that game as well. Also, we'll have Loretto. They, they will be in action tomorrow night. And my fingers are frozen as I'm trying to find their <laughs> schedule. They will uh, take on Hardin County. That game will be tomorrow night at Hardin County as well. So for Dusty Kaiser, I'm AJ Good. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the X Sports Network. This is the X Sports Network.